Hello folks, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Amit and today I am going to demonstrate you how to do create master detailed relationship in OBIE. Before I show you how to prepare it, I like to walk you through with the formal definition of master detailed relationship. What is exactly master detailed relationship is? It relates to objects, to views. Master detail linking makes possible for you to create relationship between two views within the same analysis. It makes sense when you want to make changes in one view and it should in turn reflect on other view. There are a couple of examples we are going to say today. One of these views is termed as master view which passes the link and another view listens the request. Uh, so whatever message passed by master view, it is being listened by your child view. So master view drives data changes in one other view and other views, one or more view, listen to this request called detail view or a child view. To make it easy to understand before we create, I'm going to show you how it look like. In our today example, we'll use a map view where I'm going to map view shows my revenue for different years and different states. When I select a state, in the bottom I have got two bar chart. One is based on revenue and another based on quantity. So when I select on a specific state, my bar chart renders dynamically. For example, I click on USA Colorado. See, my both bar chart render accordingly. So master view is my map view and my child view is my two bar view. It dynamically renders. So this is how it works. Let's see how to create it. We'll do this example, exactly same example once again. So I'll create new analysis. I open a new tab and I create new analysis. And in this analysis I'll be using, uh, I open this URL. I'll be creating new analysis. Click on new, create analysis. I'm going to use sample sales. And in this example, we'll be taking a time dimension called year. I'll be taking product, brand, and for in order to create a map, we'll use states, which you can find under order, uh, ship to a geographical code. I'll be using states. And I'd want my state to be rendered for a specific country. Therefore, we avoid creating a very huge map. So I'm going to create state for only USA country. So I have over here called geocode. I'll apply filter on top of this and say country equals to USA. This way it will display filters states only for USA. And I'm going to use two major. I want my map to render based on revenue and build quantities. Right, your basic tabular view is ready. The default view is a tabular view. I'm going to remove the tabular view. I'm going to add a map view over here. I'll change the title giving us master detail relationship example. Let's save this. And I'm going to create this is master view is ready. I want my master view should communicate to my other two views based on state name. So I go to column properties under interaction. I disable default interaction is drill down and disable it and make it send master detail events. You name it over here. I name it as master detail and I'm going to pass state. So I type over here state, master detail state. Make a note of this event. The name of the event which is passing and receiving should be exactly same. So let's add a view. Master view would be my map. I'll be using OBI world map in this example uh, and by default it takes OBI state as your to render your map and revenue and the default view is a color fill. I like to edit this and remove this color fill. I'll be using a pie chart which make more sense and meaningful. I'll remove this and add a new new object. I'll be using a pie chart and in pie chart let the if you like to change the name, you can change the name. You can change the tooltips. When you move your mouse cursor, a tooltip pop up. And I want my slice to be rendered based upon year. 
and graph size you can specify size of the graph let it be smaller so that it render fast all the map run down your client browser therefore the bigger map you create the more time it takes takes to render it the map is ready and I want this map to communicate to my bar chart so I'll create two more views I'll add two more view two vertical bar chart in first bar chart I want it to communicate it should display build quantity and another one should display revenue for a given states so by default all the majors available in your bar I exclude one of my major first one I want to be render based on revenue and in the selection I'll choose my year and I want it to display as a slider and uh, first one I would like it to be rendered based on my brand and year so I'll exclude brand so I could see over here my bar chart render for a given year for selected province or a state right revenue for a given year and I'm going to add another bar chart one I based on revenue and another one I based on my build quantity so add another vertical bar chart and do they it is exactly same as first one rather than I use revenue I use a build quantity so I remove revenue and put into excluded section and states I put into my section and make it as a slider and I want it to be rendered based on year so I remove brand as well so my two bar charts are ready which appear along with my map it looks so it doesn't look so elegant so I'm going to make it smaller I shorten the size of this I go to property section and make it a short smaller the size of it I'll make pixel 300 by 330 and same I do with other as well I go to edit section and render this go to property and shorten this 300 by 330 and I want they should appear one beside other so I'll drag it on and put one close to other I'll drag it up and place over here this is perfectly fine now what I want I want to define a listener events the speaking events is your map and these two bar charts should listen to my map so I go to edit section and under this properties property section I define the event listener event listener name is MD state MD state uh, master detail event and here I also specify save it done and I do the same thing with my another build quantity map go to property section define listener and I let this animate graph on display this is done save it I'll save it as master detail event in my shared folder under batch 64, 63 called master data event first it is done now we are going to test this so let's test this I whatever I'm going to select in my map my both charts I should render accordingly so let's select Florida I select Florida and you see my both map render accordingly so I pass Florida my selection automatically changed to Florida and revenue by in your first bar chart display by revenue another bar chart display by quantity once again I select some other year I select Colorado click on this and both of my bar chart render dynamically so this way master detail event when you make changes into your one master view your dependent view gets modified automatically so that's it for today you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to access more videos should you have any question please feel free to write to us or visit our site www.bsvtrainings.com or www.bsvtrainingssolutions.com Thank you and have a great day ahead.